I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but it really feels surreal to be in Osama Bin Laden's parents' house and guest house. What's going on in Yemen? The Arab world's poorest country. 13 years old and you want to fight? A civil war has been raging in Yemen. It's a proxy battle between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Houthi rebels backed by Iran fight the Yemeni president backed by a Saudi-led coalition of Arab countries. The worst humanitarian crisis in the world. The largest ever outbreak of cholera is the children who suffer most. Nearly every single Yemeni child. The damage is absolutely devastating. I'm going to Yemen. Good morning, another beautiful day in Yemen. You see the swimming pool, it looks very nice. Believe me, I'm as surprised as you. I didn't know Yemen had also this kind of hotels but hey this is a safe way at least at this point in time just need to accept it but we can't forget that this country is facing the worst humanitarian crisis in the world it's sad when now to engage with locals to understand day-to-day -day life in yemen which i still think it's a very misunderstood country This is Bukshan village. As you see, it's built in mud. Most of the villages and the countryside of Hadramaut is built in mud. They rely on the agriculture and the trade that they do. These people, they love painting the house and it's very beautiful art that present the country. And it looks very unique, right? In the it, middle of it, nowhere, you just exactly. see this colorful building. Exactly. Maybe in a rain season or after the rain season, the color will be more beautiful. The area is really historical and you can see a lot of antiques that yeah. exist here. The doors, yeah. here, windows. But what are these, these kids? We're hearing kids, right? Yeah, they're in, in the school. But this is an actual school? Yeah. This one here? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And wow. the people in entire South Yemen and over north, or north of Yemen, they're really, really friendly. Not because I'm, I'm from Yemen, because I know my people. Of course, of course. This is actually very, very, very interesting. This used to be a hotel and looks like a, not in operation at the moment, but they plan to restore it at some point. As colorful as a palace, probably just pale, because obviously it's not renovated, but it looks super cool. And you actually have also an actual school. It's an actual school, I said, like the village school. Now in Osama Bin Laden's parents' town. There's a market here. You're selling what is this? Salmon, salmon, right? Salmon. Uh, salmon. Yeah. How's life in Yemen? Hey, uh, hello. Uh, hello. 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 Good. Yeah. Is this is this market enough for the families and or they need two jobs? Good. Enough. Yeah. Thank you. All that stuff, all that bag, it's around thirty dollars. So we can see here they have a little market. They are selling these goats. How's life in Yemen? Yemen, Jenny. Good. I'm not from Kuwait. He was living in Kuwait before. Allah, here we are Kuwait. The Kuwait Khan. Allah, Allah. It was better. They're playing dominoes here. It's the thing that they can uh, spend time with. He's kind of taking notes. Look at that. Literally taking notes of all these guys playing. Really, really, really cool. Anyone can sit, play. They buy some stuff, peaceful, like, uh, and that's it.
asking kids here if they prefer Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi? Barcelona, Messi, Messi, Messi. Barcelona, Messi. Messi, Messi. I keep joking with these kids, but the reality is that football is really uniting all countries. Um, yeah. Even in countries where you think they don't play any football, they don't play any particular sport, just love football and they love Messi. I have all the kids taking care of me. So if you think that uh, Yemen is not safe, I have all the kids protecting me at the moment. I need to hurry up because again I cannot be here for a long time. What is it? They want me to show them. Banana. They want me to show all the shop, oranges, bananas, uh, beans. So they're telling me that not everything is from here. This stuff is from Portugal. They bring this from Portugal, right? Yeah. From Portugal. Yeah. Literally, this is the lorry, the van, delivering all the fruits and vegetables to different shops. Just a grocery shop, and as I said before, delivering here the vegetables. They're delivering potatoes, usual stuff, chocolates. Good stuff, man. Keep going. I love your shop. Thank you. Thank you. See you. We are now officially in the police car but uh, they are also kind of giving us protection so Osama bin Laden was born and raised in Saudi Arabia but this is a house from his parents so nobody lives here right now from bin Laden's family but let's explore and see there's nobody the stores are closed That was the main house, and this one here, the guest house. So this complex is actually huge. And again, you can see nobody lives here these days, but it really feels surreal to be in Osama Bin Laden's parents' house and guest house. There's so much history here. And on the other hand, you have a school just next to it. Local shop, we're getting some fruits for lunch. So we are buying bananas. Yeah. We take some potatoes to make uh, yeah. French fries. French fries. Let's ask this guy a few questions. All these fruits and vegetables, that the majority is from Yemen or they import? <laughs> Kiwi and apple and uh, orange, the other orange is not Yemeni, the rest is all Yemeni. You buy this bag of cat for two dollars. One of these ones, yeah. two dollars. Yeah. But And this lasts for the whole afternoon, right? Uh, two. Two. The whole town over there, it's beautiful. The sunset, wow. Once again, we hear the prayers. Another day in Yemen. As the day is coming to an end, I just want to do a quick recap of today and share some thoughts. Osama bin Laden's parents. Honestly, at the beginning, it was a little bit surreal for me. I couldn't believe where I was. But then, you know, seeing the school nearby, seeing the market and, and how people were and all that, I was, wow. Like, uh, gladly surprised by, by, by pretty much everything. One thing I've really noticed, people enjoy a lot to play on the street, talking, and, and if you're a tourist, they will ask you where you're from, what are you doing here, but in a good way, not in a negative way. Obviously, as I said many, many times already, we have people on the ground, uh, some, some, some security, but there's no other way to do it uh, as a tourist at the moment. It was really, really important for me to engage with some people in the market today to try to understand what they do, how they feel about Yemen, if they feel safe. And I think it's important to get these messages also from the people living here because obviously I can understand these conflicts and, 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 and I hope this, this will resolve at some point. Because of these conflicts, 70% of the people don't even have like safe water to drink. 
and a large population in this country they live in poverty conditions when you think about those people and, and their reaction on the street when you talk to them and, and they feel like uh, happy that they want to talk to you they want to show you what they do they most of the times really they didn't ask me for money yeah of course there were a few times that they were asking but uh, most of the times they didn't ask for money I, I don't know I just felt very good vibe today and that made me really happy really really happy but I really hope the situation improves because the humanitarian crisis here is next level I'm exhausted <laughs> I'm still excited to keep exploring tomorrow have a lot of things another day packed more villages to visit more people to engage with what I can say I'm really happy I have the, the opportunity to be here right now and, and, and sharing this with you because I know it's not easy and I know Many people are afraid. Understandable people don't want to visit here and they feel afraid. I was once also afraid of coming. But the reality is what you saw already. Like, this is Yemen. If you're still watching this, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next episode of Yemen. Yeah.